What is going on everybody and welcome to yet another gameplay stream. It's great to be back today. I know we uh, we had a weekend basically off uh, for the holiday. I hope you guys all had a fantastic Easter if you do celebrate. Uh, enjoyed some time with family maybe. Got to hang out, play some games, do all the fun stuff. Uh, we certainly had a great time. We'll talk about that as we go through of course. But uh, just wanted to thank everybody again for, for the entries in the Time Spiral Remastered giveaway. We had a fantastic time with that. Congratulations to Deadly Dragon for winning uh, your prize has been taken care of so thank you again for getting in touch with us and making sure we could get that over to you uh, and for everybody else uh, do not do not fret we will have more giveaways coming very very soon including some strict save and stuff naturally uh, as that is coming down the pipeline pretty pretty quickly uh, so I'm very excited about that but let's jump into today's deck we're playing prison today guys uh, which is not a list that I normally go for uh, I find that it's a little unfun to play but uh, I kind of like this list, I'm not going to lie. Obviously, the prison is nine lives, whoops, nine lives and solemnity, uh, which is just naturally a very good combo. Essentially, uh, if you play these two together, uh, the nine lives cannot get any counters, and therefore it will infinitely prevent damage dealt to you in most ways. What I found in testing is obviously things like Croxa, uh, the ability on Croxa, uh, importantly, uh, can still kill you. Uh, so you do have to find a way around that, which is why we've got things like Ashes, uh, we've got Ruined Halo, we've got things like that to kind of deal with those, including some sweepers with Doomscar, and of course Settle the Wreckage. Uh, Ley Line of Sanctity, only a two of in here, which does feel a bit weird, uh, not gonna lie, but it's actually not too bad. Uh, the the idea here is that you can give yourself hexproof just to make sure that uh, no thoughts uses can come through, nothing like that. We do have idyllic tutor to kind of gain uh, get the advantage and be able to pull out a lot of these enchantments that we need. Authority of the consult, slow things down, gain us a little bit of life. Uh, and then here at the top end, our big win conditions, the Immortal Sun giving us some card draw uh, to ensure that we're hitting all the cards that we need. We've got Approach of the Second Sun, which generally is just the win con. Uh, Amirio's Call can also win us the game. And then, of course, Castle Ardenvale long term. Bit of a long, very long term play, I will say, can win us the game. Kahira is also here since this does technically work as our companion, uh, which is kind of handy. Uh, it does allow us to to uh, have that creature available to us at, at an opportune moment, uh, wherever we see fit. So uh, as far as lands go, we do have 26. The main thing that we've got in terms of uh, some tech is Arch of Arazka, which is going to hopefully help us draw some extra cards. And then, of course, Secluded Step, which does just provide us with that extra card draw as we need it. Mindstone doing a little bit of that work as well. So we'll see how this goes uh uh do need to update stream decker i bet uh so we will hopefully do that here in a minute but let's jump into the first game guys let's just jump right in let's have a fantastic time today i hope like i said you guys are all doing extremely well and had a fantastic easter uh holiday weekend uh i was i did mention we were going to talk about that a little bit i had a fantastic time with uh caitlin and her family we got to spend some time with uh, not major extended family, but some of her extended family, and then a little bit with mine as well. Uh, and it was great. We had a fantastic time. But I did uh, have some allergy problems, uh, which is always frustrating, but I've always had very bad allergies in the spring, and unfortunately this, this time is no different. Uh, so here we are. But uh, we got through it. We had a fun time, and Caitlin was a trooper, as always, uh, which I can't thank her enough. So I really do appreciate it. But... Here we go, guys. We are against Mono Red. Glad we have the Doom Scar in hand and the Ley Line not bad either, preventing a lot of those burn spells uh, from coming at our face. So theoretically, we might have shut down quite a bit on their side. Um, don't know how much of that we shut down, but it's certainly worth uh, throwing that out there. Gonna go ahead and foretell that Doom Scar so we can get that out pretty quickly. All right. And let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Whoops, just had to refresh chat there, guys. Sorry about it. Uh, all right. Let's do it. A uh, little scary, that sigiled sword. But uh, like I said, we do have the Doom Scar for a reason. So let's just go ahead and fire that bad boy off right now. We are going to get hit. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. We can't get hit. So uh, this Hexproof really did a lot there with that Fireblade Charger, which is nice. Tapia, what is up, my friend? How are you doing today? Did you have a good weekend? Uh, glad to see you here. I hope you did have a fantastic weekend. 
Uh, we're playing this mono white prison list, which is interesting to say the least. <laughs> Crater maker, sure. Uh, okay, so I think the safest play is still going to be to foretell this, uh, just to allow us that extra bit here. Uh, Lurk it and listen, Outlaw Pete. Appreciate it, my friend. Thank you so much for being here again. I hope you had a fantastic weekend as well. Uh, great to great to have you here. It was good. Uh, and I traveled to Mexico to see family. Tapia, that is amazing, to Mexico. Um, I hope your travel went well. Like, obviously, you're here. I assume it did. That's that's great. Uh, really, really glad you got to see some family. Of course, everybody, everybody loves to see family over the holidays. Nothing wrong with that. All right. Getting hit for a good bit here. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, I think it's pretty clear we just have to Doomscar here. Otherwise, we're just dead. Um, I'm going to let that resolve, and I am going to play this land out here. Uh, there is a way. Hey, Creeper, good to see you today. Oh, fantastic. So glad you could be here. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. How are you doing, Creeper? Uh, there is a world where if we draw the Solemnity, we can just uh, nine lives plus Solemnity and kind of win at some point here. Um, we do have to get around some of these very tricky creatures that they may have, but uh, looks like they're running a bit low on those creatures, which, hey, can't complain there. Um, so this does set us up, but I think we may end up just dying here anyway, but we'll see. Uh, this does kind of prevent at least a little bit of that. So now we do get that Solemnity doing well. I'm online today. I'm really glad you're online today, Creeper. I'm doing good major edits to Atraxa Super Friends. Dude, love it. Uh, Alex, as you guys may or may not know, Proxy the Goat, if you don't know him by Alex, uh, is, is going to be hopefully recording some Commander content very soon. Ooh, they gave up. Who wants to keep score and give us some hype? Let's get some hype in chat. And we got that win. Look at that. Um, thank you, Creeper. Uh, Don, yes, it is a little something different today. Um, yeah, Alex is thinking about recording some commander content for us, which I'm really stoked about. Uh, it is something that I wouldn't mind dabbling in myself, but he knows it far better than I do. And so I'd rather leave it for him for at least the time being. And then um, maybe uh, maybe pull some of that in later. Creeper, thank you so much for being able to keep score for us. And look at that, guys. We opened the vault, too. I'm just going to go ahead and do that really quick. And we'll jump in to another game here. Don giving us that hype. Tapia and Creeper coming through as well. Thank you guys so much. As always, it's great to have you here. Uh, it's great to be here after what was a very long weekend. I actually took yesterday off. Um, really, for errands. I had to get... I, I have a story to tell you that is very frustrating. Um... It's a great start. We keep getting Leyline in our opening hand, and I'm very happy with it. Creeper, why are you showing us the anti-hype, man? We didn't lose. We didn't lose. Um, so here's the deal. Here's what happened. In 2019, I bought a brand new car, and it was a big achievement for me. I saved up for it. I was very, very thrilled. Uh, and it was a 2019 Honda Civic because I just I happened to love Civics, and so that's what I went for. Uh, all good. Fantastic. Uh, very happy with it. I've been driving it since then this whole time and it's been great. Uh, do we play Rune Halo or do we just wait? I mean, we don't we do have hex proof, so this really doesn't do that much to us. I think we just wait. Um and so I've been driving it no problems, no issues since then. Uh and that was in August or so of 2019. Well, Unfortunately, uh, I got pulled over the other day, which is fine. If I get pulled over, I get pulled over. I, I don't care. But I was not speeding, and I was a little confused by that because, in my opinion, you know, if I'm not speeding, why would I, why would I get hit or, or why would I get pulled? Excuse me. Uh, we're gonna name electrostatic field here because technically this doesn't target. Um, so. I get pulled over, uh, Kaylin's in the car with me, and it's for my registration, which had apparently expired in September of 2019, which was kind of crazy to me because I had just bought the car <laughs> at that point. Um, again, slightly confused by that. So uh, I finally, you know, I, I basically was told, you know, you just need to go get it taken care of. It lapsed for a fairly long time. Uh, and so they couldn't let me off with just a warning, although thankfully uh, this I did kind of luck out here uh, The the printer and the the cop's car who was very nice very polite super nice guy 
uh, but just let me know that like basically his printer wasn't working and so I kind of got lucky and didn't have to uh, get the uh, get the ticket I just got a warning and he was like dude I'm, I'm sorry I've kept it here for so long and I'm like hey no problem just out of curiosity though I was under the impression that my registration was being paid automatically and obviously that's incorrect that's fine um, what is this? Reveal the top three cards. Choose one of those cards. Put that card in your hand. Unless an opponent pays three life, then exile the rest. Um, I'll take the action. I'm going to decline that, actually. They can have that. Decline that as well. Um, and so I was a little slightly upset, we'll say. Um, let's idyllic tutor and pick up nine lives here. Er, yeah. I think we just have to pick up nine lives here. Um... And we can just toss that out right now. We'll play the Immortal Sun next turn and start drawing some extra cards. Anyway, so he was very polite again and just offered me some advice on where to go pay. So I went to the auditor's office, got all my stuff taken care of, paid the taxes. And they said, well, unfortunately, that does mean that you are going to have to get a new tag for your car. And I was like, great, that makes this very frustrating because now I have to go to the DMV, get all that taken care of. And it was just a frustrating experience all around. Which does make sense, Creeper, you're exactly right. Um, and so I do go, I, I go, I take care of it, I do everything I'm supposed to do. And yesterday we uh, we go to the DMV, uh, Caitlin and I go, and it was weird. Uh, so I don't know if anybody has had to go to the DMV since the whole pandemic thing, uh, other than myself here, but it was awful. Uh, it was the weirdest experience I think I've had in a very long time. A lot of people were just like yelling at other people for just awful things <laughs> uh and it was it was terrible like people were just being awful to each other and like obviously they were stressed they're there because they don't want to be there like i get it it's not a great place to be but it was just like messed up like really really messed up and so it was not all in all it was a terrible experience um but i did finally get my car taken care of which means I do get to actually drive my car again, uh, which is nice. Uh, trying to get your permit? Oh man, I bet. I bet, I bet. Um, all right, we win. Let's get that hype in chat, guys. We got another win for prison after that abnormally long story uh, of... By the way, guess what? What? Ah, Creeper, you got me. 2-0, and oh. I like it. I like it, I like it. Guys, we are... Doing pretty well with this comp or with this uh, prison deck so far. Niatic, Tapia Creeper giving us that hype. Niatic, how are you doing today? I didn't see you in chat yet. Hope you're doing really, really well. My license test is soon. Creeper, the best of luck to you. There was somebody there who was actually taking their license test. So uh, it was it was interesting because it kind of brought me back a little bit to the days where I had to do all that and it was terrible. I failed my test the first time. Uh, if that if that gives you any hope. Um, it's okay if you fail every once in a while. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out uh, just to get us some extra life potentially. Mine's on the 20th. Creeper, good luck, my man, good luck. Just took his test last week. Tapia, did he pass? That's important. Uh, I wish him the best. If he did not, on the retake, I hope it goes well. Oh good, this is treasure hunt. Okay, or tre yeah, treasure hunt for Thassa's Oracle. This is the whole thing. This is a frustrating deck to play against, for sure. Um, let's just do this. Uh, first try passed, good for him. That is fantastic. I wish I could have said the same for me. Um, actually did the worst thing possible, which is to turn into a do not enter, uh, because I'm smart. 10 years ago and never drove a car since. Pete, are you serious? How did you never drive a car since? Black me out or welcome. <laughs> that was certainly something. How are you doing today, Meowder? Great to see you. I hope you're doing very, very well. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. The reality is uh, this kind of deck is going to be tricky for us to, to deal with. Their win condition is not norm. Not norm. Uh, Black Meowder, I don't know that I have seen you in chat before. Is this your first time here? Uh, if not, I apologize. I may have just missed you in a previous time but uh it's great to have you here i do appreciate you being here and uh yeah it is we just played oh did we i did not notice black me outer i'm so sorry well look at that <laughs> yeah uh we uh 
yeah, welcome. Uh, it's great to have played against you. Thank you so much uh, for the game. It was a good time. Uh, but yeah, this is a not fun deck, Black Meowder. I'm sorry. I've always lived within walking or bus distance from city center, plus costs are high when you're young. Yeah, that's fair. Um, welcome. He messed up. Yeah. All right, let's just do this. I'm just going to get the Thassa's Oracle off. It doesn't really matter. Unless he has another Thassa. Did he? I honest Creeper, so I have not played this Treasure Cruise deck. There we go. They've, I mean, they've drawn a lot here, but I have not played this deck or played against it that much, so I really just don't know much about it. I know roughly how it works, but... Yep. Um, yeah, the nine lives combo realistically does nothing against this deck. Uh, and so this is just going to be a rough one for us regardless. But that's okay. That's fine. Uh, you're supposed to play four treasure, one oracle, and a bunch of lands. So the idea is just to always hit oracle. What's the wing con for that deck? Uh, I believe it's just Thassa's oracle. Uh, yeah, the effects is greater than or equal to the number of cards in your library. You win the game. Um, yeah, so the idea is to basically mail yourself out. <laughs> Uh, but we'll see how this goes. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. All right, uh, let's do this. It's kind of fun sometimes, is it? It seems so fun. <laughs> let's throw this in. I'm just going to do stuff because honestly, this is a goldfish deck. And, um, if we had had something like, uh, honestly, I don't even know. If we had had Gideon's Intervention, I guess we could have hit him. But I think we took Gideon's inter Intervention out of this list. Yep. So they have no cards in the deck, and now they play Lamb, play Thassa's Oracle, and win. Is that correct? Yep. They got it. They got it, they got it. That is chalked up to a loss for us, guys, unfortunately. Let's jump into game four. Let's do this. We got this. Oh, he didn't play a land drop? Creeper, what, when did he not play the land drop? If I may ask. Alright, anti-hype in the chat, guys. We lost. Niatic and Creeper jumped me and got it too quick. Ugh. No, before thoughts. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh. Yeah, we'll keep. We got this. Authority of the Consults is very, very good against any creature deck. It just slows them down enough. Uh, Ixalan's Binding is good against a lot as well. This is our only version, or our only copy of Ixalan's Binding, though. Doomscar, fantastic. Let's go ahead and foretell that. Looks like Mono White. Could be Prison, or more than likely, it's the Life Gain deck. Which is fine. Uh, though they did not have a turn one play, but yeah, here we go. All right. Play this. I'm just going to play Mindstone and pass. We've got some time to set up. Mono White Weenie? Yeah, basically. Uh, we do have Approach here that we can use to, to win the game here at some point, but... Uh, great. Uh, again, my apologies. We've been having issues with that, as, as most of you all know. Uh, and unfortunately, that, that does cause the stream to kind of dip out. We've been doing okay recently, but it is what it is. Uh, appreciate you guys being patient. I am going to attack in here. We do need to get them down below 27 life. That is a very crucial life total for them. Uh, and so we're going to take that opportunity now. Toski is a bit frustrating. Not going to lie. Uh, given that it's indestructible, it's not like we're going to be able to deal with it effectively. We do have some things that we can do at Niatic. Thank you for uh, letting me know here. Um, yeah, we're back. Thank you, guys. Please feel free to confirm that uh, you are here. Would certainly appreciate it. Um, okay, so what is the goal? What is the goal? Uh, the brushwag has eaten the internet. So yeah, right. <laughs> um, I am going to attack in here again just to ensure that that's taken care of. And then 
I think we might just be playing Leyline here. Interweb's working today. Uh, Smurf, what's up, by the way? And we are doing okay. We did have one drop here already, but that's okay. Um, hmm. Part of me just wants to Doom Scar, but the reality is we're not dealing with Toski if we do that. Uh, but we can Doom Scar plus nine lives, which does buy us quite a bit of time. Um, so let's do that. Gain a life there, nine lives. So this does buy us a little bit of time. It's not great. Um, Leyline, Creeper, Leyline is fine, but the reality is this deck doesn't really care that much about uh, doing too much to us um, other than just damage. And so Leyline, while not bad, I don't think is, is the answer necessarily. Okay, and this is. So now we can just go get Solemnity, uh, thanks to Idyllic Tutor, and then just drop it. And there we go. That's the the combo. All right. Oh, they had the banishing light though. Um. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Toski is life, Don. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Uh. So let's sacrifice this to draw a card because essentially we just have to get solemnity. Otherwise, we just lose, right? Yeah, I think Creeper, this is GG. I think they just win. Um, kind of sucks because, yeah, there we go. We lost. Kind of sucks because we had it, but that Banishing Light caught us off guard there. That's fine. It is what it is. They had it. Uh, that is the downside to a deck like this. Is it against certain removal? Uh, he should have got nine. <laughs> uh, against certain removal like Banishing Light, it is tricky for us to, to do what we need to do, so... That's fine though, let's jump into another one. We are currently two and two. Let's get some anti-hype in chat for the loss. Evened up that record. Let's see if we can do a little better. Oh, excuse me. Been drinking Coke this morning and been burping a lot. Hmm, excuse me. All right, what do we have? What do we have? Uh, I think we do, I mean, this is a pretty easy keep. The Ruined Halo might be able to deal with uh, some of the early game stuff here. Uh, and it looks like we're against Mono Red, which means Doom Scar is also just going to be like the best possible thing. So I think next turn we're just going to end up foretelling this. No drugs. Coca-Cola, Creeper. Coca-Cola. Um, I think we're going to foretell this and then just be able to sweep the next turn. <laughs> Uh, ooh, and double Doom Scar is even better. I like it. Let's do it. Let's foretell this first one. Uh, and that just makes it easier to fire off the first one realistically. It just means that uh, we can kind of drop this one early, kind of reset their board a little bit here, and then get us to a point where it's okay to uh, hit the other one out there as well. Um, but we'll see what else they may have. Light up the stage. Ooh, double Ember Cleave. It's pretty good. Uh... So we have two options here, I guess, don't we? We can drop this. Uh, burping is the opera of brushwag, so it's fine. <laughs> Rector, what is up, my friend? How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. It's great to have you. Great to have you here. Uh, I'm gonna foretell this. I'm gonna take a turn here. We're, we're playing a little bit riskier by doing it this way, but I think it's fine. Mixy Fit, what is up? All the great people are here today. All good, working side by side and watching the stream. Rector, I love it. I love it, I love it. It's great to have you here. Absolute pleasure, my friend. Uh, and let's go ahead and hit them with the Doom Scar. Uh, and let's just throw this out there. Let's just Mind Stone it up. Let's keep ramping a little bit here. That gives us the ability to tutor uh, and then also play some stuff, which is kind of the idea. All right, let's do this. Uh, let's see, what's the best play here? I'm gonna tutor. Uh, and what we can do is actually get Solemnity, and this keeps counters from being able to be placed on this. Uh, first person to mouse the name right in the first instance. GG's. Ah, I got you. Rector, I got you. Um, yeah, so this just keeps this from getting any counters on it, uh, which essentially means that they can't use it for mana. And given they are only at two mana, uh, that feels pretty good. <laughs> um, oh, and here we go. Now we can just win. 
Omega, what? Good to see you here, my friend. I haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing, Omega? And Rector, I'm sorry I did not ask, how are you doing? Deadly Dragon, the winner of our Time Spiral Remastered giveaway is here. Deadly Dragon, welcome. How are you doing today? The Lockdown deck. Omega, that is exactly correct. We are playing the Mono White Prison deck. Not my favorite style of deck. I do like Prison, uh, but I don't generally like playing Prison on stream uh, for various reasons, most of which just include that it's not that fun to watch. <laughs> Um, but that's okay. All right. Uh, well, I mean, at this point, he's deadly. Watch out. <laughs> uh, deadly dragon is deadly. How have you been deadly dragon? I've been fantastic. I'm glad to hear that the payment got over to you as well. Uh, but yeah, I am doing exceptionally well today. Having a great time streaming, hanging out with some fine folks. Uh, feeling good today. Finished the color challenge yesterday in MTG arena. Rector, congratulations. Now the fun stuff happens. Uh, work is making it difficult to be here. Uh, do you ever seeing the stream non-live, by the way? Omega, I do benefit uh, mostly from seeing it over on YouTube. Uh, Omega, if you're not over on YouTube, I highly recommend you go check us out there as well. Um, anybody who is not actually subscribed on YouTube, it's a great place to see not only the gameplay, which does get uploaded there, but we do also have quite a number of other video uh, streams that go up there in addition uh most, right now actually we have uh, been starting with fun friday uh which if you don't know what that is essentially we just open up a bunch of packs uh we've got five that go up each friday uh and it's just a fun time we just have a great time opening up those packs seeing what we get a lot of them are older packs in fact i've got uh a couple of them right here we just got dissension in uh and in fact today we got betrayers of kamigawa uh which is going to be a fantastic time as well uh, Creeper, I'm going to head out. No problem, my friend. Thank you again for being here. I do wish you the best. Uh, and hopefully you can come hang out tomorrow as well. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> uh, because sometimes I can't see live, but I want to support you nonetheless. Omega, I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Uh, and today's video is insane. Rector, don't spoil it. Uh, if, if you are a patron, you saw that. If you are not a patron, you did not see that. Uh, but I do appreciate it. It was a very, very good pull. I'm very happy with that one. Uh, Kamigawa with the dragons. Yes, it was so cool. Oh yeah, dude, hundred percent. Uh, let's just spit one of these guys out here. Um, <laughs> no problem, Rector. No problem at all. You didn't say what it is. You're fine. You're totally fine. Uh, but yes, we did get a very spicy planeswalker in one of the packs today uh, that's going up on Friday. Another nine lives. Uh, you know, for the sake of being careful, let's just throw that out there. And let's ruined Halo on, I don't know, let's say Anax. <laughs> um, eh, we'll just pass. Don't really have to worry too much at this point. Uh, we've got double nine lives and triple solemnity, so I think we're okay. Yep. Um, authority, great. Fantastic card. Uh, so really our only thing now is just to either hit approach or uh, just keep throwing out these uh, little 1-1 one -one tokens and start attacking in for the win here, but uh, we do pretty much have this one locked up. I mean, it's not it's not guaranteed. You never know, but we will see. I am going to go ahead and draw a card here just because. Sure, we'll play it out. It doesn't hurt us to play lands in this position. The only time that it really hurts us to play cards out of our hand is against the Croxa decks. Obviously, this is not one of them, so we really don't have to worry about that. Uh, and this just authority is just going to gain us some life. So if for, if for some reason or somehow they found a way uh, with the shield breaker, maybe or something along those lines to deal with the solemnities because they can't deal with nine lives, um, we're actually fine. Uh, it doesn't actually matter. Uh, and yes, I will just block here because who cares? Get that out of there. Create some of those tokens, but that gains us life. Uh, he is waiting for Bone Daddy. Yeah, well, here's the approach. Uh, which does just kind of make this a little bit easier, at least. Uh, and I'm happy to go ahead and crack the Mind Stone here. D 
does not matter. He uh, stops damage preventing. Uh, is that what? Yeah, I guess that works. Um, but currently, <laughs> uh, no, we don't want to play that actually because we don't want to lose approach. Um, but yes, you are correct. Uh, I guess Marauding Raptor stops the. Well, that stops the life gain. Oh, well, Doomscar is going to help us too. Alright. Fine by me, fine by me. I'm going to block here. I'm going to kill as much of these things as possible, so then that way this Doomscar is just going to wreck most of their board. Um. I mean, obviously they're going to get some things back, but that's fine. And we're just going to gain a lot of life here. That doesn't work, thankfully. Um, so they're just going to get a bunch of these little 1-1s that can't block. And we're back up to 20. Uh, so that's good. I'll just pass here. I'm just waiting for approach at this point. Um, so we'll see. I like that they keep attacking in, though. I mean, I know that they can't block, so I guess that works, but... Let's go ahead and draw. Off of uh, Arch of Arazka, and then that way, we are that much closer to approaching. I haven't gotten an approach win uh, ever on Arena, funny enough. I did not play Approach of the Second Suns at the time uh, when it was really out, so... Didn't really matter. Let's approach. And we did it. Uh, the spell part of Bone Crusher is the only solution for the deck after the combo. Omega, yeah, I guess you're correct, because they can just shock us. Um, but I think at that point, that authority of the consults really stepped in and kind of kept us from losing. Let's get some hype in chat. Tapia already showing that hype. We are now three and two uh, with Mono White Prison. Niatic showing that hype as well. Let's jump back in, guys. I uh, got the rewards today. The cards are awesome. I'm still deciding on the pass proxy I need for this month. Rector, I, uh, I'm i very, very glad you enjoyed those proxies. I was a little upset, actually, with some of the proxies uh, for this month. If anybody doesn't know, by the way, how what I'm what we're talking about, um, uh, our Patreon rewards, or anybody that subscribes on Patreon, based on the step that you are on, uh, you do get... Uh, do we keep this? Yeah. You do get some proxies sent to you each month uh, as a bit of a thank you. It's literally just a like, hey, this really means a lot that you're helping us out. So here's something to give back to you. Uh, and they actually vote on those every month. Um, and Rector, I was a little unhappy with some of the way that the proxies looked this this month in particular because the centering was off. Um, now we outsource that printing that is not done by us. Uh, and so I didn't really have any time or any way I could do anything about it at that point. Um, but I, I was a little upset by that. Overall, it wasn't terrible. Uh, it just was kind of upsetting, but regardless, it was, uh, it was a fun time. All right, we're gonna foretell the Doomscar. Looks like they are heavy, heavy ramp, which is gonna be interesting. Omega, you always do one cyborg because of this. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, but GG anyways. Yeah, exactly. Mixy fit showing that hype. Uh, gotta go back to work, says Tapia. Thank you so much for being here, buddy. Appreciate it. They'd have to shock 17 times, this works fine. Yeah, they would have. Um, let's do this. Uh, I don't actually want to play the nine lives quite yet, uh, because again, if it does get the counters out of there, then we just kind of lose. So what are we scared of right now? If nothing else, we can just Kahira. I'm not gonna Doomscar with just the Llanowar Elf on the field. I think we just Kahira. Let's just get this in hand, so that way we can spit out a creature as need be. Very curious to see what this deck is actually doing, because I'll be honest, at the moment I'm not really seeing it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I'm trying the Azorius with Dream Trawler, best of one standards. Still 10 in the deck though. Omega, that sounds really fun. Um, I'm just gonna throw out Kahira. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Uh, ideally this just stops the pinging with the Llanowar Elf. That's really the only thing I care about. Um, if they're just going to be ramping, I mean, they can certainly play some big stuff at some point, but uh, this protects our nine lives in particular. Um, so let's throw that out there. And let's throw Rune Halo, or Mind Stone, excuse me. Not Rune Halo. Um, and I'm not going to actually attack. 
Really excited for Commander 21. They look like they've got, uh, with text from past Commander sets and it's cool. Corkspine, I actually need to, so, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Will and I are kind of thinking about doing a bit of a set review for Strixhaven. Um, I have not looked at any of the Commander stuff in either Strixhaven or any of that kind of stuff. Like, a lot of the cards at this point I have not looked at, so... I've got a long way to go before I feel like I can justify saying a whole lot about those cards, but I am very stoked for what I have seen um, for for all the new stuff. It looks really, really good. So we, we will see, of course. Okay. Um, I think we just take it. Arch of Arazka. We can just ruined Halo here. It looks like they're just trying to ult. So can we just say forest? We can. And now we have protection from forest. <laughs> uh, that seems pretty good. <laughs> we'll see if, I mean, I assume that that works, right? Like these just now can't, we just have protection from forest. Golos, okay. That's cool. How's a squirrel? That's all you need to know. Dawn. You are not wrong, my man. <laughs> okay, so are they trying to activate this? Oh, they have World Tree. Okay, so they can activate Golos. That's cool. And they have Vorinclex. Look at that. From that from a land type. Man, Authority really doing some work here. I'm also just gonna be able to sweep uh, with Doomscar. Yeah. This can't attack the turn it comes into play and we gain a life off of it. Like we're about to sweep this crap out. Let's go. Um yeah. We actually can draw a card here as well. We need to do that. Sure. They're going crazy and it's going to be really funny when we just get to Doom Scar. Oh, a double Doom Scar. Because all this means is we've gained a lot of life. <laughs> it's literally all this means at this point. Um, they've got so many lands. They're they've got they have played half of their deck. I mean, look at this. They've got twenty eight cards in their in their hand, or excuse me, in their deck, not in their hand. Wow! Wow! Okay. Well, that's very good. Uh, because now they are all indestructible, but we do still have protection from forests. I believe that works. Again. And there's the solemnity. Uh, so let's do this. So now they can't create any more uh, of these. And then we can do this. And then we can do this. Do your worst. Uh, the only thing I'd be worried about uh, is Rex Sage in Historic? I don't know, but something like that that can deal with the uh, Solemnity would be a problem. Or the Rune Halo, but I don't know what they can really do at this point. Um, we'll see. Uh, Tabalt's a little scary, not gonna lie. But we do, I mean, eventually they deck themselves. That's something to think about. That doesn't work. You just basically killed a forest for no reason. Um, I don't know. I don't know what they do. Um, so we don't want to draw. Oh, we do. We can actually draw both here. So if we do this and then we do this. Now we have approach in our hand. Uh, which just means we're safe. Oh, wow, the Immortal Sun as well is here. That's just a really good card. <laughs> uh, that's just a lockdown for Planeswalkers mostly, but played an 80 card deck that literally did nothing but kill my stuff and wait for me to deck out. Was so pissed. Oh, man. That sucks. <laughs> Mixy fit, I, I hear you. Um, I mean, we're kind of in that same realm, right? Like, we're kind of the the annoying group of uh magic at this point but yeah we just cast approach and win so they can play whatever they want as long as they don't kill us this turn or take approach somehow which i 
don't think they have the ability to uh we're doing pretty well we're doing pretty well i am liking this prison deck i'm not gonna lie thought it was a little like you know kind of trolly uh but i mean it's it's obviously a combo that works pretty well between nine lives and solemnity it's something that we've seen a lot of uh and so it's kind of fun to to just try all right uh Go us, right? Like, when you're good, you're good. No. We did it, guys. Let's get some more hype in chat. We ranked up to gold one. We are at four and two at the very moment. I think what we are going to do, guys, is we are going to test out one more game. We are going to try one more. Uh, hopefully going to be a really fun time. And uh, just want to say again, thank you so much for being here, everybody. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the hype, Niatic, Mixy Fit. Uh, and thanks for sticking around for fun, for what turned out to be a really fun deck. I know uh, we had some issues with the stream, but you guys are amazing as always. Uh, made a few Strixhaven, Strixhaven ready decks for standard. Didn't make a lot, but the few I made are fun looking. I'll share them uh, come time. Quirkspine, certainly appreciate it, buddy. Uh, I do follow you on Aetherhub, so I see that I, I get notifications every time you upload a new deck, which is always fun. Um, so I do need to check those out very soon. <laughs> Last game, last game. Let's get some last game hype in chat. Uh, hopefully we can do this one. Uh, and again, just a reminder, we do have the fun Friday video coming out this Friday. Uh, gonna be a really exciting pack opening. We have got a lot of really fun packs in that one. And uh, some, I'll say less than exciting sets that we get some very good pulls out of. So this is gonna be one that you'll want to watch, I assure you. Uh, it is very, very worth it. Um, just a super, super fun time. I love opening up packs. It's one of my favorite things to do. If we can make a series out of it, I've always tried to kind of keep that going on the channel in some way. Um, been a bit sparse lately, and so I thought I'd try doing a fun Friday. Uh, the Goldspan Dragon and the Double Attack Spells. Ooh, Omega, yes. I would love that. How powerful do you think Strixhaven is and compared to other sets in terms of power? Uh, Rector, I'm going to withhold my judgment completely and just say that I have looked at some cards of the set, uh, and found them to be quite powerful. That being said, I haven't looked at the set as a whole yet. Uh, we will be doing some of that very, very soon. So I'm really excited about it. But, um, from what I have seen, it seems quite powerful, but I would argue that a lot of the, this is surprisingly taking a while i'm gonna cancel out and try again i think uh if you look at the the historic uh, the, the history of the last few sets we've seen some power push uh that i think is continuing is what i will say um i mean if you look at you know just the latest set kaldheim vorinclex is a very pushed pushed card uh obviously uh and it's not the only one that's just a very very easy example um and so there's a lot of that kind of stuff, I think, that we will be seeing. Uh, this is a tricky one, weirdly, uh, because we have two Taft lands, but it does have the combo. We're going to try it. Not even power creep anymore. It's power push. Lamp, yeah, honestly, it's uh, it's it's pretty pushed. Uh, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, we're actually going to start with this. So I'm coming here with a background in HS. They released an expansion uh, based on academics too. Oh, very cool. Very, very cool. Yep. Uh, let's... Like, part of me just wants to keep doing this. The, the worry here is that they have Banishing Light. Uh, we'll pass and we'll see what happens. We may, may cycle that secluded step because uh, we really do need just a, an untapped land at some point. Pass, they get to hit us, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and cycle. It's a bit of a risk, because if we... Okay, that worked out. I was going to say, if we just don't have any good lands, then we're going to be in trouble, but it is it works out. For me, the strongest set since Eldraine, in particular for Historic. Omega, yeah, there is a lot, a lot for Historic in this set, so I, uh, I can't but agree. All right. Um, I'm going to throw out the Solemnity here. I'm doing this one first for a couple of reasons. Uh, it kind of informs our next decision. This is the turn where they, if they have Banishing Light, they will probably try and play it, but it looks like they don't, uh, which is great for us. 
Um, wow, three color. Okay. Uh, so now we just play nine lives and hope at this point. Um, if they do have it, then okay, we did it. Have you got tutors in the deck? Idyllic tutor lamp is in this deck to, to pick up those enchantments. Well, that was a really quick one. Let's do one final one. That was a very, very quick game. So we'll do another one. Um, they gave up immediately. They they probably had Banishing Light in the deck. I assume they just didn't have it in hand. Um, but that does solve the, the issue. We also have Mastery. Let's do that really quick. Thank you for the hype, Niatic. That does put us in five and two, I believe. Uh, which is pretty solid uh, for this prison deck. We're gonna give it, give it, excuse me, one more game and hopefully get it to uh, to six and two. A great record, honestly. I'm not, I'm not unhappy with this. I really like the the prison deck. It's it's not one that I feel like is always fun on stream, but uh, I do feel like it's doing pretty well. Thank you for the hype, Niatic and Lamp. And let's do this one more time, guys. We got it. Uh, this is a great hand, honestly. Uh, nothing wrong with it. We're going to keep absolutely. And I think we'll actually just throw out the secluded step here. Um, and then this way, these two are just guaranteed untapped lands because we can play planes, then the castle Arden Vale and be kind of well set up here. Uh, looks like we're against a similar style deck we were up against prior, uh, where it's a world tree kind of build here. So, um, let's just... Let's play safe. I don't want to play the Ruined Halo quite yet if we don't need to. Um, I do want to save this for whatever the immediate danger is. If this does just end up being a Nissa deck, then we just Ruined Halo it out, of course. But we'll see what they end up picking up here. Little worried. Karn is a bit scary. Interesting. It's a Cauldron deck. That's different. Um, well, I'm going to nine lives. I'm gonna just throw that out there. We've got two idyllic tutors here, which just means that even if they can deal with a solemnity the first time, we actually have a way to deal with it or, or pull out another one as needed. Uh, Karn is scary. I mean, they obviously are gonna have answers in their sideboard, so we'll have to see. Um, but it looks like Cosmos Elixir is what they're gonna go for here. That's not gonna do it, um, realistically. So, what do we do? I think we just idyllic tutor. Uh, pull out the Solemnity here uh, and just go for it. I think we just go for it. A uh, little worried about a potential like Thoughtseize or something like that. I mean, they do have black in their deck. Um, why would you not have plussed? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter, but I would have... I mean, you guess you plus. Uh, do you see less variations in decks played and higher matchmaking ratings? Rector, um... I think generally that's the trend. I'm not gonna say that that's always the case, but I do think it's a bit more of a trend where you definitely are gonna see a lot more top tier decks. Now, I think that there is some point along the way where if you are ranked very highly, you've attained that goal. The mentality sometimes tends to swap then to say, okay, let's just test out some fun decks. So you may still see some variation. I'll be honest and say I've not been higher than, than through platinum and like diamond two. I have not quite gotten to Mythic at this point. Um, and so I I haven't been in a position where, um, you know, it it's actually mattered all that much. Um, and so, but yes, as I have gotten higher, at least up until, you know, the Diamond, Platinum Diamond ranks, uh, I have found that, you know, the, the variance gets less and less. Um, gold is a bit more of a just like whatever you see is it, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, you do get the occasional person who's clearly just grinding and they're just playing mono red or mono white right now, uh, especially in historic, but usually there's there's pretty straightforward kind of gameplays here. All right, so they've got the world tree activation up, which means they do have Golos activation uh, very soon, um, as soon as next turn, in fact. Uh, what are we scared of, though? Huh. That's cool. Um, I mean, this has to be some kind of weird combo-y kind of thing, but it's not really... I don't know that I'm actually worried about it. <laughs> um, what do we pull here is the question. Like, is it just...
Uh, this is the one where they play every creature in their deck. Is that it? I mean, that's fine, but that doesn't really win them the game. Um, the only thing I... I'm just going to get this and shut down the graveyard, I think. For the most part. I'm This cauldron, I guess... Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. I, I got no idea. This, uh, this meteor golem is a little scary. Um, we could rune halo that, but does that really protect? Uh, it, it is what it is. We'll see. This is, um, do you see? yeah. Okay. Catching up in chat really quick. All right. Sure. That's fine. Um, probably just going to doom scar here at some point. Okay. Now I'm definitely going to doom scar. That's fine. Deputy is scary, I mean, for sure, uh, but it's not the end of the world. Yep. I mean, they didn't just give up, so clearly they have more answers like this at some point, which is scary. <clears throat> but we do have double Doom Scar. We can just <sighs> ruined Halo as well. All right, let's see. Getting Golos off the field is probably worth it. Uh, Cauldron is gonna start coming down here though. Okay, mm -mm. I'm going to play Leyline. I don't know what this necessarily shuts down, but it just might help. So I'm just going to set up every block that I can at this point. Um, but we'll see. This is a scary one. This is a very scary one, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Crucible. Yeah. Crucible is super good. Um... Play that Fabled Passage. Can they play? I guess they can, right? Players can't cast spells, so that's not casting to play a land, so I guess that makes sense. Okay. Interesting. This turned into a very interesting game. I'll be honest, this is a, a funny one. Uh, I'm a little curious to see how this ends up going. <laughs> Hmm. Help me out, chat. What do I ruined Halo for? Is it just like deputy? I don't know. Um, I mean, we've got the Doom Scar to take care of it as needed, but hmm. Curious. Very curious. Sure. Okay, authority is actually really helpful because it does just at least make everything enter tapped. Um, hmm. I can put Kahira in my hand and then play Kahira out. Um, or just spit out a 1-1, one, one, which I actually kind of like that better. Um... The reason being, I, I expected that at some point I'm going to end up having to Doom Scar if they play another Deputy. Um, but at least the authority helps. I'm here to learn. I'm in no position to suggest. Rector, no problem. I'm learning very, very heavily as well at the moment, uh, I'll be honest. Um, this is a tricky deck that I think generally would not do very well on the ladder. But, I mean, obviously they're up in the higher tier gold, which isn't super high. But um, we'll we'll see. We'll see. We might be able to get this. Destroy a land. Fight a creature you don't control. Okay. So they can hit the Arden Veil? I mean, that's fine. It doesn't matter. 
I mean, it's a win condition for us, don't get me wrong, but it's not the end of the world. All right. Hmm. This turned into a way longer game than expected. <laughs> they get deputy again. So this is really the only time where rest in peace, I think, would have been a better option. Um, which initially was actually in the deck, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I thought, you know what, let's let's not do that. Um, I'm going to try. This is for the sake of learning. This is for the sake of learning. I don't know how this actually works. Uh, so we're going to test. We're going to test a little bit and just see. Don't know if that's going to work uh, at all. But, worth noting. Um, okay. So Deputy does go into the deck. Uh, should be that the Halo doesn't protect your permanents. Real Milkman, I'm pretty sure that is correct as well, but I don't see a better option really for us to, to ruin Halo at this point. I'm sure there is, don't get me wrong, but um, at this point I'm just going to go for it and just see what happens. I think you're exactly correct. Um, realistically, it only gives us protection, not our permanents, but you know what? We're here to try. And also, thank you for being here and, and sharing your wisdom with us. Uh, I hope you're doing well today, buddy. All right. Rest in peace would have been a better, better option. Meteor Golem. Meteor Golem would be fine as well, but again, it doesn't... I, I think we're going to find it be the same issue, right? Where it doesn't actually protect the permanence so much as just the us, uh, if that makes sense. Um, all right, we're an idyllic tutor. I think we just get another solemnity just so we can double up there. Um, we could Ixalan's binding, but I don't really think we need to quite yet. So I'm going to get solemnity out here. If they can double detention, deputy at attention, we're fine. I mean, that's the, the problem. But again, even if they do we still will have a turn to figure some stuff out. Okay, they're going to get every god. Cool. We're probably just going to lose, and that's fine. Uh, this has been a fun game. It's a learning experience for me, so I'm perfectly fine trying uh, some new stuff here. Um, this is a fun deck. The deck that they're playing, I mean, I like it quite a bit. They get all of their creatures. We gain just a butt ton of life. Uh, so they do have Knight of Autumns. And they've got the dis the Deputy of Detentions. Okay. So they should just be able to straight kill us here, right? <laughs> nice. Hey. Well played on the opponents, and this is a really cool deck. Uh, and who was the one that said it? Lamp, you were the one that said they play every creature in their deck. You were exactly correct. Very, very cool list, uh, for sure. Um, I think we just end up giving giving in here, but we'll give it another turn. Um, So that gives them the other world tree. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give up. Uh, Rune Taylor immediately. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go ahead and give that one up because essentially we had lost at that point. But guys, this has been a really fun one. Uh, we ended up going, what was it, five and three. World tree, what a card, Deadly Dragon says. Absolutely. Uh, ended up going five and three, I believe, which is not a bad record, uh, especially for a prison deck, which can really, really uh, either falter or do really well. Um, and so I think we kind of saw that in action today. But guys, I really appreciate you all being here. Thank you so much. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I hope you had a great holiday weekend as well. We should be back tomorrow. Uh, 
yes, it, I think we will be back tomorrow. I get, I'm getting my first vaccine tomorrow. Thursday, we may not be here. Uh, just as a quick heads up, uh, I do have to run out of town for just a little bit. But I do appreciate you guys being so supportive and so understanding. Stay tuned on Friday for that fun Friday video. It's going to be a great one, uh, as Rector mentioned earlier. Really do appreciate it, buddy. So thanks so much, guys. I'll see you in the next one.